Life Lessons with Haleriri. Life Lesson Number One: Be Young at Heart. We can enjoy the freedom of adulthood and the pleasures of childhood if we remain young at heart. Fun people can be any age. Staying young is an attitude, and it has nothing to do with how old we are. Get in touch with some childhood memories which link you to the past. These may be recon- rekindled by any sense of experience: the touch of velvet, the taste of an aniseed ball, the smell of the sea, the sound of anything from your childhood, even a ride on a carousel. Recreate some childhood experiences and stay forever young at heart. Remember that. Next life lesson: There are no obstacles in your way. I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. We create our own limitations. That glass ceiling is an illusion that you have created out of fear and self-doubt, and the place where you sit underneath the ceiling is your illusionary comfort zone. I know we all crave the comfort of security and familiarity, but we can't stay in the same place forever. It's like living in an open prison. We often cling to what we know because we're afraid to make changes. What if we fail? What if we make mistakes, and what if people laugh at us? Forget your fear, and be what you want to be. Remember that. Next life lesson: You are good enough. Have you ever been in that no-win situation where even your best is not enough for you? When the only way to feel in control is to be perfect, even when you know that perfectionism is unattainable, there's a fine line between wonderful expansiveness that comes as we reach for our potential and the unbearable limitation of never ever feeling quite good enough. A desire to do well can become an addiction. We can even start beating ourselves up for not being positive enough. So consider this. You are good enough, just the way you are. It is true. Remember that. Next life lesson: How to stop arguing. When things are getting you down, do you often take it? Out on your nearest and dearest. We'll take these four steps. Number one: recognize your negative state of mind and decide to step out from this downward spiral. Two: hit your stop button. Imagine a button lit up in red with stop on it. This imaginary button will stop your emotional whirl for just a moment. Three: identify your immediate needs. To talk, to spend more time alone, to receive some tea and sympathy, or whatever you need, and four, calmly express your needs so that your loved one can give you the exact response you need. Remember that. I wish you my very best. Live a good life. And be happy.